change your heart, change your life, change the planet. So back in 2015 or the end of 2014, uh, you injured your Achilles. Yeah. And and you thought that perhaps you weren't going to be able to race anymore or compete. Run anymore. Yeah. Yeah, run at all. Um, how how did you go about uh, recovering from this? And and what do you think the the raw diet or a vegan diet played in in your recovery? Well, it was actually 2013 uh, oh. that I injured it, and I took almost two years off from running. Um, and the doctors said there was no way to fix it. Um, the calcium had grown up into the Achilles tendon, so bone spurs growing up into the tendon, which are very, very painful. Um, and they said there's some surgeries that they might do, but I would never have the strength again that I do now. So it's basically for people that just want to walk but don't ever want to run again, they offer that surgery. Uh, there's other techniques that don't necessarily work. We don't have a lot of evidence showing that they work, but we can try them anyway. Um, <clears throat> said the best thing you can do is just uh, stop running. So it looked like that's what my future was going to hold for me. But running is more than just fitness for me, and it's more than racing. It's a way that I express myself, and it's a way that I engage with the world and with myself. Uh, running allows me to achieve certain states of being and certain states of awareness that I don't get anywhere else. Uh, to me, it's like a really, really deep meditation. Um, and it, it's a complete physiological overhaul. So I miss that. So not running was profoundly difficult for me, not just because I wasn't competing or hanging out with my friends or couldn't keep up this athletic resume. Mm -hmm. It was that my body and mind were suffering from not running. Um, we live in a really sedentary lifestyle. That's the norm. People think you're strange and extreme if you move your body a lot every day. But right. that's what your body wants to do. That's what your body was built to do, to move a lot every day. And when you don't do that, all kinds of things happen. So, uh, in August of 2015, <clears throat> I went to a, a PT, physical therapist, uh, ortho doc combination, who works with Olympic athletes. And I'm like, I've got to start running again. What, what do I do? And he did some x-rays and ultrasound and said that uh, your tendon is really, really solid. It's healed, but it's healed with all this calcium in it. He said, so as long as you don't mind the pain, go ahead and run. But it's healed. It's just going to hurt like hell. <laughs> so my diet uh, didn't really have an impact one way or the other. Um, you know, it was a healthy response. Uh, when you run with an injured tendon, which I was in 2013, I had tendinosis, which is degeneration of the tendon, because I just kept loading it and loading it and loading it with too much uphill running, and I didn't give it time to recover. The body eventually says, well, we're going to have to make this stronger to handle this kind of load, so let's start putting calcium in there. Let's turn it into a bone instead of a tendon. That way it won't break and won't snap. So it's a healthy response. Uh, to put calcium in there if you're not stopping and slowing down, which I didn't do. So um, there's nothing problematic about that response. It's just that it has certain consequences. <clears throat> so diet really wasn't an issue. Um, but uh, as far as me running again, because I got up to from August, uh, where I wasn't running prior to August, to November, I got up to 80 miles a week uh, in a pretty short period of time. Um, and that was basically about changing the way that I run. I changed my foot strike, uh, which you hear a lot of people talking about online, barefoot running and whatnot, like how to properly land. And I was doing the whole barefoot style where you land on the, the forefoot, you know, the, the front of the foot. And that puts a great deal of stress on your Achilles tendon and your soleus muscle, which is what the tendon becomes. So okay. the, the tendon becomes the soleus muscle and then it leads into the calf muscle. Um, so that barefoot running, yeah, it's great, but it takes years to fully adapt the tendon and the soleus muscle to be able to handle that kind of 
sure. continued impact, and I wasn't ready for that. So now I run with a flat foot. Okay. Um, I'm not a heel striker. I'm not a forefoot striker. I'm a flat foot striker. Um, wow. And basically, I use my arch as my cushioning mechanism. So I let the I hit with a flat foot, and I let the arch collapse. Okay. And that's where I get the uh, impact um, reduction from is that arch compression. Mm -hmm. And that takes the load off the tendon, and I've been able to bring my mileage way back up again. Awesome. How about with raw foods? Have you noticed how that affects your how your mind works and your emotions and how you relate to those? Yeah. When I was eating a vegan diet, but not a raw vegan diet, um, although I definitely had some clear improvements over my crappy fast food diet prior to that, I still ate a lot of comfort food. I ate a lot of tan foods. Mm -hmm.